All right, everyone. Final stream of the charity weekend. We're going to be witnessing some SCP Monster of the Week. I am excited. I can't wait. It's oh, it's so rad. Um, I just want to say thanks for joining us for our charity stream uh, for Color Change and the Bail Project. Um, at the top of the screen, you can see the trackers for both of the fundraising campaigns. Um, and you could donate. Uh, the donation is uh, uh, on our on our Twitch information if you scroll down. And it's also on our Twitter page, uh, at terrible underscore party. Um, we also have a giveaway going on right now. So... Um, you know, you can find all that information over on our Twitter and just want to say thanks to all the amazing donors and everybody who's participating this weekend. Um, it's been awesome. We've been able to do some good and have fun and enjoy just, you know, some happy, fun times in this kind of, you know, dark era of our, uh, of the year. But, uh... You know, with with dark auras. Now I guess we'll get into some even darker stuff with some uh, SCP Monster of the Week. So, um, Aki, if you want to go ahead and take it away, um, it's all yours. <clears throat> all right. Uh, first of all, let's have everyone introduce themselves. First of all, I'm Aki. Hi, I'm the DM or GM or whatever you want to say. Um, I am an artist and. That's really all I am. I have, a, which I'm gonna warn you all right now. I have a kitten with me, and he is very unruly. So if I am distracted at any point, I apologize. That is why. Right now he's calm, but I don't trust him. Um. All right, uh, Prin, go ahead. Hi, I'm Prin. Uh, I'm an animator artist, uh, and I'm playing Sybil Smith. Should that... I go into more detail, or yeah, tell us a little bit about Sybil. <laughs> so. Uh... Sybil is a spooky. Um, typically, uh, they're played as a warlock with uh, Mothman as their patron. So they get the powers from math, uh, Mothman. So they're your local neighborhood cryptid uh, that loves bread. Loves to eat bread. All right, and he is, the, he is your icon currently? Yeah. Because we couldn't get your fucking thing to work. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. Alright. Valid. Uh, Nat, you wanna go? Sure. Um, so I'm Nat and I'll be playing Dorothy Hewish, aka Nana Dot. Um, she is 82 years old. Um, and I'm using the Initiate playbook. Um, and her sect that she is a part of is called the book club and it is just a group of old ladies that meet every week and talk about monster lore um yeah and i don't do anything really cool but uh like i'm not an artist but i did make the dice bags that are in the giveaway so be sure to enter <laughs> hell yeah because net's cool um um crunch you want to go uh i'm crunch I have no artistic talent whatsoever, but I'm a self-proclaimed meme lord. And I am playing... Uh, uh, I'm using the Chosen playbook, and I'm playing as Link from Legend of Zelda, except he got brought to our world for some reason. <laughs> and... That's about it. He can't really speak. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Um, so getting right into it, for those of you who, haven't, who don't know about Monster of the Week, it's a Powered by the Apocalypse game, and it's a really fun game. I play it every week, not every week, but every once in a while with my friends over on the Slammers podcast. Is it a podcast or is it a stream? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's on YouTube. That's what I meant. Um, but yeah. This game is really fun, so let's start. Um, so, we're going to start with Nana Dot. Nana Dot, you have been sent by your sect to the book club to go to the SCP Foundation, which is something mm -hmm. something your sect is familiar with, but not, you know, super knowledgeable about. 
You just know it's a place where, th where abnormal things are kept. So, you enter into the front doors, and you're immediately met with a scientist who introduces himself as um, Mark Schmidt. He says, uh, thank you for coming. We're, we're, uh, we're going to go, uh, we want you to go over some of our, our lore and some of our information. Keep in mind, everything you see and everything you hear is classified. So please keep everything to yourself and please be careful. First, we are going to go look at SCP-173. Please follow me. I nod solemnly. Um, also, please note that Nana Dot is wearing a lavender tracksuit, so just Wonderful. for everyone out there. <laughs> <laughs> that, did, that did take him a bit by surprise, like, okay. Uh, <laughs> but he does not judging, he's just a, just a regular old scientist. So he, he leads you down the hallway, through a few corridors, before you come to a large um, contain containment thing, I can't word right now. Uh, you come to a large like contain like a garage type thing with a door that goes up and down, and uh, you see a little clipboard hung on the wall next to it. And the scientist takes this off the wall and gives it to you. Says, "Here's the information about SCP-173," and you see Doc. Document with a picture of SCP-173, which I, which uh, and a description, and to, to tell you what what SCP-173 looks like, it is um, do do do. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. The object cannot move well in with direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Personal personnel assigned enter control area are instructed to alert one another before blinking. Oh great! Yes. Cool, 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 cool. He said he see he immediately sees you're like what? He's like, don't worry, we won't be we won't be letting him out or letting you see him or anything. We're we're, we're you're just here to get the information. Fantastic. Um. However, of course, as he says that, something goes wrong. You hear the alarms start bl like blaring. There are red lights. Lights flashing. He starts to freak out, like, what's going on? Holy shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> then the door to 173's containment opens very slowly. Mm. And you basically see this concrete baby, this large concrete baby covered in spray paint and feces. Oh, no. And blood. <laughs> and he says, okay, okay. Don't, don't blink. Do not blink. Uh, I'll be right but... back. I'm gonna go see what's wrong. Just don't, don't let it out of your sight. But what if I have cataracts, so that's gonna be hard <laughs> and dry Okay, ass. okay, okay, I'll stay with you. I'll stay with you. Um, uh, he, like, yells to one of the guards, like, what the hell is going on? And they're like, we don't know all of the all of the containments have been opened. He's like, all of them? All of them. And, uh, Sybil, this is when you wake up in, in your, <laughs> your containment cell. <gasps> the door is open. That's a new thing. It is new. You've been here for maybe, like, a few a month or two, and for the entire time, that door is not opened unless a scientist was coming through. But it is open now with no one around to see you besides other SCPs. No scientists coming through? No. No scientists. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up from my bed and just sort of like cautiously go towards the door. All right, you go towards the door. You you peek out, see what's going on. You see, you see the same thing. You see the alarm blaring. There's red lights flashing. There are people and creatures and objects running around like crazy. Um, and you do for sake of convenience, you are pretty close to 
SCP-173 is containment, so you do see Nana Dot, who is very out of place. <laughs> I am trying not to blink, even though it's very, it's so hard. Uh, interesting. Uh, so, I have a question. So, yeah. as as a as a spooky, I get premon I, I get a premonition. You, that you do. May I roll that now? Sure. Okay. To roll weird. Uh that one. Uh I don't have any forwards, I don't think. So let's go. So there's a 13. Ooh. And it says that on a plus 10, I get a detailed vision of something bad that is yet to happen. And I get a plus one forward to prevent it from coming true. All right. You see... You see a guy... You, you, don't, you assume it's another SCP. You don't recognize me as blonde hair and a green tunic. <laughs> mm-hmm. You see him getting his head ripped off. Oh. That's not fun. <laughs> Something bad is definitely going on here. Oh no. When was the last time I ate? Ah, uh, not too long ago. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll just I mean Seems like a little chaotic over here, so I'm gonna just saunter on out. <laughs> no one to All keep right. me in my room. Why stay? <laughs> Do you wanna go over to the nearest scientist, which is the one near Nana Dot, and ask what's going on? Uh or anything. Yeah. Similar? Sure. Yeah. Alright. You you saunter over to the scientist who looks at you like, oh, God, you're all out. Shit. Uh, can, can, can you just go back to your... Please? Please? Nah. <laughs> uh, shit. I'm That's good. Fair. Um, What's okay. going on? Uh, help, help us look at that. And he points at SD-173. I'm currently, like, going like <laughs> this, like, with my eyes to try to not blink. But also... It's like everything is very out of focus because, um, like it's my glasses are like up, you know what I mean, like this, so I can hold my eyes yeah. open. <laughs> what happens if I don't look? Uh, your your neck will get snapped. Oh, <laughs> please yeah. help! So help us please look. Help. <laughs> but is that like, but if I don't acknowledge, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know it's there, you'll get your neck snapped. Now hurry up and look at it. Oh, but, uh, I. Mm. <laughs> Again, this is a big concrete baby looking thing with spray paint and blood and feces all over it. Does only one of us have to be looking at it? Okay, someone needs to be looking at it, but the more of us there are, the less likely one of us is going to blink it all at the same time, you know? Oh, okay. More likely, someone's gonna see it. Yeah. Okay, got it. Looking. Oh, okay. that's disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not fun. Uh, so, let's just start slowly backing away. Does it move? It doesn't do anything as long as you're looking at it. Okay. Um, you guys start to move backwards slowly, trying to get some distance between you and it. Uh, you turn the corner, like, you, like you walk backwards, or you turn the corner, but as soon as you do, you see, you see, you see, you see the, you see the, the scientist blink. And he's dead. Oh. Oh, no. You see SCP-173 oh, no. standing right in front front of you and the doctor is on the ground with his neck snaps. Oh. Uh, okay. 
you like to do? Um, <laughs> well, okay. Number one, we're not going to blink. Number two, <laughs> um, do, does it matter if, so if I blink, I'll, I will die. Even if, even if, um, no, as long as Sybil is looking at it, you're fine. But basically, as you guys were turning the corner, you, okay. you lost sight of it, and then he blinked. Mm, okay, so he was, like, just the last round. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, gosh. I wonder if it works <laughs> in reverse. But I, mm. Like, if we put a blanket over it, and it can't see us. How would it know to attack us, or if we're blinking? That's the thing, though. Then it'd be out of your line of sight. And it'd be able to move freely. Hmm. Uh, what if... Oh, no. I don't know what to do. Can I... How you about this? To back away I... I think we're going to continue to back away slowly. But also... Um, I have, like, a sect move that I can do at the top of the mystery. I have a couple. Um, and one of them is when I'm in good standing with my sect at the beginning of each mystery roll charm. And, um, on a 10 plus, they provide some useful information. So maybe that inform if I roll good enough, um, then maybe the information will help us in this case okay. so i'm gonna roll charm Let's see okay great that's a seven um so it says on a seven to nine you get a mission associated with a mystery and if you do it you'll get some info or help too so i'm assuming this is my mission right now so and the info or help um is like going along with that yeah so, do I remember anything that could help us with this right now? Um, let me think. You do remember them saying that, you do remember them mentioning SCP-173 and the whole blinking thing, but you didn't really pay attention to it, because right. <laughs> you, you, they didn't say it was hostile, they didn't say it was hostile, they just said don't blink around it. But you do remember them saying it's another SCP that can help you that can help you, but you, they didn't tell you which one. Oh no. Okay. Um. So I'm assuming we should probably find this SC, this other SCP. But also, there's so many SCPs. <laughs> there are a lot of SCPs. So uh, do you guys just continue to back away slowly for now? Yeah, I I feel like that's the only thing we can do. What do you think, yeah. Sybil? Okay. Yeah, I agree. Oh, also, I will introduce myself at, uh, as I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, will as well. Well, it's nice to meet you. You're not going to eat me, are you? Nah. <laughs> nah, people Great. don't taste good. <laughs> what does taste good? Bread, bread tastes really good. Oh, love, love a sourdough. <laughs> oh yeah, rye bread. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, these guys—they make the best like cinnamon raisin bread that oh. I've ever had. Wow, wow! If we get out of this alive, <laughs> well, you know, if we're gonna die, like our last conversation should be about bread. It really you should. <laughs> like crazy. what? <laughs> like of course it's gonna be about red. All, all right, right. You get out of this all. You can come to my house. And <gasps> I'm excited. <laughs> bread bowls, soup. Wow, wow. <laughs> all right. As you guys are backing away slowly, that allow me to roll what room you go into. Let's see. I need to do this real quick. Okay, so. Roll 
roll again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you got real lucky. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, you got really lucky. <laughs> you walk into a room with these... How the fuck do I explain with this? <laughs> Let's see. You find another clipboard next to the door that gives you an idea of what these are. It's SCP-131. Uh, SCP-131-A and SCP-131-B, affectionately nicknamed the the iPods by personnel are a pair of teardrop-shaped creatures, roughly 30 centimeters, one foot in height, with a single blue eye in the middle of their bodies. SCP-131 is burnt orange in color, while SCP-131-B is mustard yellow. At the base of these creatures, a wheel-like protrusion that get, which allows for locomotion, suggesting that the creatures may be biomechanical in origin. They can move surprisingly fast, coming over 60 meters or 200 feet in a matter of seconds. They, have, they do lack a braking system, though. So, it's an iPod headphone robot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess so. However, at the bottom of the page, you read something very interesting. During an incident that took place on redacted date, the subjects followed one of the cleaning staff on routine cleaning of the container of 173. After the normal attempts to warn the cleaner of the danger were ignored, the creatures returned rushed into the the container in front of him and the other two personnel on duty. Once inside, the staff members observed the subject sitting in front of 173 and watching it intently, as if aware that it could only move if unobserved. Basically, you just found two things that don't need a blank. <gasps> oh my gosh. You found the thing you were looking for. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you got real lucky there. Are they... Are they, like, se- I guess they are sentient, but, like, can they talk or, like, recognize speech and stuff? They can recognize speech, but the most they can do, I believe, is, let me see. They're about as intelligent as a house cat. So pretty intelligent. Cats yeah. are pretty small. Yeah, and they have ma- they make high, high-pitched babbling, so it's like, meow, meow, meow. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love them. Um... Can we? So we're we're still back. <laughs> yeah, you oh are. And God. SCP three SCP one seven three is still where the scientist died, just staring at you both. Oh my gosh. Um. So I'm assuming I'll say like, maybe I read the clipboard and like I'm tell while Sybil is watching um <laughs> the thing, the the concrete baby. <laughs> which I hate. Um, I truly, I truly hate that. And um, so I'm, I'm like letting Sybil know, obviously, about the iPods. And can I like try to? They're like just chilling in the, in their. Yeah, they're just, they're just in their area. They're, they're, just, like, they're just rolling around. Okay. Oh, they're rolling around. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, can I, like, beckon to them and say, like, hey, guys, could you just help us out really quick? That would be great. Um, I see they see you're... you and they start, like, rolling towards you a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, I'm just going to let them roll towards me. Can I, like, pet them? Is that weird? <laughs> I mean, you can. You can. It doesn't, there's no fur, but okay. <laughs> pat them. Well, like, maybe pat them, I guess. Okay. As soon as they uh, get out in the hallway with you, they see 173, and they immediately, they snap to him, and they don't uh, take their eyes off him. Oh, oh, thank God. Okay, I immediately blink, it's like, like they were made for each other. times. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> rehydrate those eyes. I take out a little bottle of eye drops from my, my like, backpack <laughs> first thing. Put them and offer them to Sybil. Oh, what, what are these? What, oh, oh, eye, dro- oh, eye drops. Oh, eye drops. And they, they're, like, they're, like, saying that, like, as they're doing it. <laughs> and then they all hand it back. Great. All right. 
And what are you guys gonna do now? Run away. <laughs> All right, you you run, you turn a corner, away. and you bump into someone. Yeah. Oh. You bump into someone. Sybil, you recognize yeah. this person. Oh, it's you. It's fuck. It's fucking Link. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like pointing, like, like arms, arms, uh, and legs, like spread, like pointing at at uh, Link, being like, ah! With Spider-Man pointing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna like be looking very closely at Link, and I'm like, in my head, thinking, isn't he from a video game? <laughs> But I don't want to... He does look kind of familiar. Like, where do I know him from? (laughs) (laughs) And I introduce myself as well. (laughs) 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 Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) No, it's great. I love it. Um... (laughs) So as you guys are introducing and talking a little bit or whatever the fuck Link is doing, uh, you guys, let me, give, give me two seconds. You guys are next to another room. The, the door is open, of course. All the doors are open. Mm-hmm. And inside, you see a dollhouse. I mean, I already don't like it, but continue. And and uh, sitting in front of the dollhouse is a doll. Mm-hmm. Like a doll-sized doll. Yes. And next, of course, next to the room, you find a clipboard. You can you can read it, of course, and it says SCP-1851 is a doll that resembles a 1.57 meter tall female Caucasian with brown with brown hair and blue eyes. SCP-1851 resides within a building located near <laughs> redacted. SCP-1851 is observed using a remote controller a remote control rover. SCP-1851 moves throughout the containment site, occasionally performing maintenance on the interior and ex interior of the building and grounds. So you do see this little rover that she's on top of. Does it have a name? I guess it's SCP whatever. Yeah, SCP-1851. 1851. Um, She's just kind of staring at you. I don't blink. I'm really worried now. (laughs) I wave. She's just kind of stares at you. Does she blink? No. I try blinking and see if I die. Nothing happens. Okay, great. (laughs) (laughs) I I got a question. Are we still at the beginning of the mystery? Yeah. Okay. Could I roll my uh, I'm going to use my destiny play thing. All right. Uh, I get to roll weird, and if it's a 10 plus or more, you reveal useful detail about the coming mystery. 7 to 9, I get a vague hint, and I'm a miss. Something bad happens. Alright. Uh, is that... What, what, what is that? Uh, that's the, uh... That's a miss. Mm-hmm. Is that a miss? Yeah, that's a miss. Something bad happens to me, but it doesn't. It, it's not specific at all. All right, wonderful. Great. Great, great, great. Mm-hmm. And the doll starts to drive around its cell, and then it drives out past you all. It runs over your foot. Oh. Like, 
<laughs> Do I take damage? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> One point damage. Oh my it's gosh. A heavy rover. Uh, All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so boring. Um. No. Oh, it's fun. All right. Um. You guys continue forward. Yeah. I mean, I don't think. I think we're just trying to leave because I don't know what's in here. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like get out because yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I feel like there's more bad stuff than good stuff. Like, luckily, I found two good, uh, guys, people, things, SCPs. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I don't know about everyone else. Like the the iPods were cool, but that baby is like really not ideal. <laughs> All right. Uh- uh, roll plus sharp to see if you can remember how to get out. Oh, no. I think my sharp is bad. We'll just say that. Oh, okay, it's actually, it's actually okay. It's my cool that's bad. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I don't know anything. <laughs> roll the five. You have no fun. What's There's an so exit? Many. You don't know what that is. My memory um, is very, my memory is very poor. There's so many twisty mm-hmm. turns. Yep. And of course, Sybil and Link, you don't know how to get out. You're not supposed to get out. So why would you know how to get out? Oh. I shrug. Also, I, I, I point to Link and I'm like, you should stay close by. So I'll give a thumbs up and look for pots. <laughs> Are well, there with them. There is a pot next to the dollhouse. Oh, I'm gonna smash that. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick it up and chuck it at the wall. <laughs> Shards go everywhere, and all you find inside are some ashes. Oh. Some ashes? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just desecrated the grave. <laughs> oh my gosh. We need to leave. We need to get out of here. I'm sure a janitor will come and clean it up. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just worried that doll is going to come back and um, hurt us because we've smashed her pot. Thanks for her doll. Has- I don't know. Maybe she that's her favorite pot. And now it's <laughs> not there. So I'm just going to keep walking away. And... Uh-huh. I skip as I follow. Okay. I'll roll uh, as I follow. <laughs> um, and go in the direction that I think is the exit. <laughs> but it is probably not, based on my really good roll. All right. Let's see, Steve. You keep walking. Just, just mosey along. When you hear some footsteps. Footsteps. I mean, you hear a lot of footsteps, so this one's really close to you. I was like, what about our footsteps? Do we hear those? <laughs> we, yeah. hear own, we don't even hear our own footsteps. Oh, no, we only no. hear this guy. And turning the corner... You see a plague doctor. Mm-hmm. And as soon as he sees you, he starts walking towards you. I wave. He does a little creepy wave back. Ew. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seems friendly. Um, I don't blink. I mean, turn not to blink. <laughs> I mean, you've really set a precedent, so I don't know. But you need to keep your eyes hydrated. You're going to use all your eye drops. <laughs> I have like a, somehow I have like an eye spray, and I'm just like, going like <laughs> uh, just in case. And then I, um, well, okay, I'll wait until he comes up to us and see if he means any harm. 
Uh, as he start, as he's getting closer, you see he he puts his arm behind his back, as he like as like he's pulling something out. Pulls out a syringe. Ah, no, no, thank you. <laughs> mm, I just will. No. <laughs> we all just shake our heads. Okay, let's all run. Let's all right, run. I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> okay, I'm following. <laughs> I'll take up the rear. <laughs> He's gonna chase after you. Ah! No. No, no, no. I don't like <laughs> that. <laughs> I'd like you all to roll tough. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh. Alright. Why? Oh, no. <laughs> Sybil and I are dead. <laughs> Oh no. Uh let's see. Sybil, you, you try and sprint away as fast as you can, but you get grabbed by the back of your shirt. No 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 But it's leathered glove and he pulls no, 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 no. you back slowly. Do I see this? Yes, you do. Can I when I see this happen, can I swing at him with my sword? You definitely can. Roll. Alright. Um I got a question that I probably should have asked ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Uh my weapon it gives me I have a plus to harm and a plus to close. Uh what do I add those to? Um the harm is if you hit the close, I'm not sure. Okay. I don't, so... you, I, I don't think close is, uh, has like a modifier. I think it's just <laughs> like, it's a, a thing of the weapon. Yeah, okay. I think it's just the it's nature, it's the nature of the weapon. Range. Yeah. Okay. And you said roll sharp? Roll, roll tough. Oh, tough. Okay. All right. Nice. You managed to you managed to hit this guy with your sword. And, and where, where are you hitting him? How, how are you hitting him? Uh, just like flat end of the blade on the arm to say no. <laughs> Stop. All right. He drops his syringe. And he looks at you. He, his eyes is like squint at you. He lets go of Sybil and tries to grab you. I'm gonna keep on running. Let's see if he's successful. Oh no. I feel like when I was running, I I think like maybe I was running and then because I rolled so low, when Sybil got grabbed, they grabbed me too, and then I fell over. (laughs) So now I'm on the ground. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um, do you help Nana Dot up, Link? Do I have what? Do you do you help Dot up? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, great. So you guys continue to run, Sybil. You you, can, you start to run as well, away from this creepy ass plague doctor. He had a syringe. That he did. Didn't like that. <laughs> There's no time to talk. We need to go. <laughs> We need to go. <laughs> I say we go this way. I make a turn. Okay, well, I follow. All we're, right, we're just we're just like Scooby doing it right now. Like, there's we're running through all the colorful doors. Ooh. Um, as you're as you're running. You look up, you look ahead of you and you see a figure that looks like let me get the description of this person basically you see an elderly man with uh with with rotting new f- flesh ew 
like he's decomposing as you're watch as you're looking at him. Uh. Brody. Okay, I'm not gonna blink, and I'm gonna wave at him and see what he does. I feel like that's uh, what we're doing. Walking. He what? He immediately starts walking, and underneath his feet, you see the, the, the ground turn black. Mm. Mm. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep <laughs> running away. I don't want to engage with this man. Where are you going to go? Um... I mean, is there, like, another hallway <laughs> that we can just run away? Or is this, like, a dead end and he's just there and then the plague doctor is probably, like, right behind us? True. So, wait, say that again? So, is is this, like, a dead end hallway? Yeah, kind of. Okay. So, there's there's nowhere else for us to go but back the way we came. Basically. Okay. Unless um, we're into one of the rooms. Are we right to assume that the plague doctor is still following behind us? You still hear footsteps, so yeah. <laughs> no, okay. We're gonna have to fight both of these guys, I feel like, right now. Yeah, I, I have a similar feeling, so I'm gonna, like, moth out, you know? Okay. I'm gonna get my, like um... Form. Yeah. I'm gonna get my. What are my weapons? I'm gonna get my gun out because <laughs> I have a gun. <laughs> oh um. And oh, I do have some fighting sticks, which are uh, which I flavored as my knitting needles because uh, I, you know I had to. So I'm gonna get those out as well. <laughs> And just, you know, okay. take a take a stance. Take a defensive stance. I'm gonna keep my gun out. Or not my gun, my sword. <laughs> Link with a gun. Um, <laughs> oh, that'd be great. And just wait until they get to us. Alright. Let's see. So, the guy, the, the the rotting guy, continues to walk forward. He's pretty slow, honestly, but yeah, the, the floor behind him turns black like a mucus behind him. And the floor starts to rot behind him. Yucky. Like, like rot and fall away? Not, not entirely fall away, but just rot. Okay. Alright, um... I don't remember how combat works in this game. Shit, I am so sorry. <laughs> I think it's just, um, based on, we kind of just say what we want to do, and then there's no, oh, yeah, like, yeah. initiative. Not per se, like, in other games. But yeah, sorry, I'm so used to initiative. Um, so... What do you what do you guys want to do? You got a plague doctor coming from behind you and a rotting man coming in front of you. Uh, I, I will position myself to face off against the plague doctor. All right. I guess I'll go for the rotting man. Even though uh, I don't want to. <laughs> you know, I'll go for the rotting man as well cuz Okay. Yeah. I'll just like be in between you guys then and you know swivel as needed alright but I think we're all kind of taking like a defensive stance um, of course and, and like waiting for them to come to us so at least we're like like back to back so Sybil Mm -hmm. The plague doctor gets to you first because uh, the, the other guy is really slow. Mm -hmm. And he comes running towards you, syringe in hand. I'm, I'm a, you know, claws out, man. 
<laughs> Try to rip off that mask of his and go for his eyeballs. All right. Roll tough. Is that is that tough or kicking ass or like I don't know. I think roll, roll to kick some ass, but I think that's under tough. Okay, yeah, got it. Okay. Um can can I big whammy? Uh it says uh, you can use your powers to kick some ass when you do roll plus weird instead of plus tough. Absolutely. Cool, cool. Eleven. Oh. Chat just said to take the mask. Alright, yeah, you managed power, to not so. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, do, so it does two harm. Alright. Surprisingly, you the mask does not come off. Instead it's you seem to rip it seem it seems to rip through like flesh, like it's a part of him. Oh, you yucky! Oh. So as you as you swipe across his face, blood starts coming out of the mask and trailing down his face. And he holds and he holds obviously he holds his face like ow, ow what the fuck? Uh, but he's still gonna try and get you with this syringe. Let's see if he can do it. Um. No, he misses. He managed he managed to dodge out of the way last minute. <laughs> Before he sticks you with the syringe. Who wants to go next? I don't know why I just raised my hand, but could I go next? <laughs> go for it. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, you can go I'm, next. I'm back up right now. Uh so the undead guy's still a little bit away? Yeah, he's about ten feet away. All right, I'm going to move up uh, close enough to hit him with my sword and swing at him. All right, go ahead. Roll tough. Ooh. As see, your sword does contact, but as soon as it touches him, the blade starts to rust and rot away. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've lost your sword. Oh, if it matters, what? my sword uh, is magic. Ooh, would that say that? Uh, I would hope so. Is that like my only weapon? Yeah, I'll say it saves it, but it is a bit rusty now. Okay. Oh my gosh. I do have a cane sword. Um, in case you need that later. <laughs> I think I have a big knife. <laughs> <laughs> Big knife. <laughs> yeah, I got it. They let you have a big knife here. Oh, it it was so you could cut your bread. That's why. Yeah, so your bread. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bread knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna see that Link is struggling and just shoot the thing, the zombie guy, with my gun, and hope that helps. All right. Um, roll plus roll see. Top. Would this be protecting someone? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I get when I oh, never mind. This does not apply because I'm using a gun. Okay, great. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm gonna roll tough. And wow, <laughs> very bad. That's a four. What happens is you see you see the bullet head towards him at, at, at you know bullet speed. It's really fucking fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you see it go through him. Mm, like kind of disappears for a second, then reappears. He can. Oh no, he can like blink in and out of existence. From what you can tell, yeah. Great, great. We're gonna die right now. Okay. <laughs> Just waiting for the screech. Yeah, seriously. 
All right. Um, I think that's why you could probably run past the plague doctor. He's currently clutching his face like, ow. Oh, yeah. Let's take that opportunity and leave. Because I'm really scared of this rotting man. All right. Okay. Can we push the plague doctor towards the man, the zombie man, <laughs> and hope that... Sure. And hope that they uh, fight it out between themselves. <laughs> sure. Great. So and you guys we'll push away. the plague doctor towards the running man and start running for your lives. You look back, you see as the as the rotting man and gets close to the plague doctor, he puts a hand on his shoulder as he goes past, and you see the plague doctor start to rot. Oh, Yucky. just from the touch. No, and you see, and you and you see this guy start pulling out the plague doc- doctor's organs. Just oh, ripping that's them really right nice. out. That's really good. I feel like that's ironic. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're right. Doctor, yeah, <laughs> you're absolutely correct. <laughs> Okay, we're hopefully that'll keep that guy busy for a while, so we don't have to see him ever again. Yeah, <laughs> we hope. He seemed pretty hope. slow, so yeah. But All there's right. like a lot of hallways, and I'm afraid we're gonna accidentally come back down this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll, let's roll sharp again to see if you guys can figure out where to go next. Everyone or just me? Uh, I'll say just you because the other two. Okay, have no idea where to go. <laughs> I'm rolling so bad. That's a six. <laughs> it's all right. We haven't yeah. seen the outside in a few months. Right. Years. I don't know how long he has been here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I still don't know where I'm going. I'm just blindly um, running down, like, the next hallway. And hope that there's nothing bad down there. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Though I have a feeling that I'm wrong. All right. So, <laughs> as, you're, as you're running, I'm going to roll again to see if you want to do anything. You do. <laughs> Uh, here I'll see which one. Oh, yes! Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. As, well, <laughs> oh, no. You guys, you guys start, you guys are booking it when, uh, I'm gonna say, mm. I'm gonna say uh, Link is in front because he rolled the best earlier. Link, you, you run straight into something, but it doesn't feel like a person. It feels more like you just ran into a giant piece of jello. Oh. But it smells like candy. I'm gonna look up. You look up and you just see this happy little slime, this happy slime guy, and he just starts hugging you. And he makes little dog noises. Do I feel like I'm suffocating? No, you feel so relaxed. Like all the dread and fear in your body just left. What about the harm? Honestly, the harm isn't feeling that bad either now. Oh boy. Um. I'm gonna hug back. <laughs> this thing makes very happy noises. And in it, like it floating around in its body, you see the clipboard for it. And you can read it, and it basically it says this is SCP 999. Let me grab his thing real quick. Okay. <laughs> SCP-999 appears to be a large, amorphous, gelatinous mass of translucent or- 
orange slime weighing about 50, 54 kilograms with a consistency similar to that of peanut butter. Is that all it, it says? It can change shape at will. Oh. No, it says a lot. Like, it can change okay, shape okay. at will. It's roughly two meters wide and one meter in height. Let's see. What else do you... What else is important? Uh, the subject's temperament is best described as playful and dog-like. When approached, SCP-999 will often react with overwhelming elation, slither going over to the nearest person and leaping onto them, hugging them with a pair of pseudopods while nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod. All of them admitting high-pitched gurgling and coo cooing noises. Hmm. Ow! Stop scratching me. Uh, can, I, can I touch it? Yeah, if to you it smells it smells like I'm gonna say it's it's it smells like jelly. Like strawberry jelly. Mm. Love is, that. There, is there any more to the clipboard? <laughs> Uh, you do you as you read as you like read through it. You do see some. There is an entry about this SCP that says it will protect people. Oh. That it has actually gone in front of a. It has actually gone in front of a shooting bullet to protect someone. Okay. 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 So I feel okay about him. If... Yeah. Yeah. As, as soon as you touch him, you feel so much calmer. Oh, it feels so nice. That's okay. Really Good. Um, does it say what he likes to eat on it? On the clipboard. Uh, let me see if he does eat. <laughs> yeah, or if he does. Um. Uh, candy and sweets. I pull out some Werther's original from my purse and feed it to <laughs> You got Werther's original? <laughs> of course I do. I'm an old lady. <laughs> oh, he gets um, so happy. He makes another pseudo pot and comes out and grabs you and hugs you as well. Wow, I'm so happy. Okay, great. <laughs> um, I will name him Gregory. <laughs> Gregory, all right. So, as you guys are hugging Gregory, it's wonderful, it's sweet. You guys start hearing the footsteps again. From either the plague doctor or the rotting man, you can't really tell, it's just footsteps. Great. But it's coming from that direction. Yeah. And with that, we're going to take a brief intermission. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. that. Yes. <laughs> Well, at least it's a good thing. Yeah, I like you on a good <laughs> thing. And uh, not, at least we're like not about to die. Yeah. So there's we're that. Just lost. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, where are we taking an intermission? War? Or Chris? Sorry, forgot your actual name. In there. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll no, just keep Adam. going. <laughs> okay. Until... Well, okay, just kidding, everyone. We're still here. <laughs> just kidding we're still here oops <laughs> never mind about the intermission <laughs> um let's see so you guys hear the footsteps and around the corner and turn around the corner you see the rotting man covered in blood now mm, yucky his hands are blood soaked and he's still holding someone an organ uh mm. 
and he starts to walk towards you. No, thank you. I... Can we send Gregory over in there? <laughs> you want to send Gregory over there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get behind Gregory. Hey, All right, Gregory, Greg... I think that guy needs a hug. <laughs> Greg, Greg. Gregory sees this man and it does immediately go in front of you with it with its arms out, like no, like shielding. And you will see the rotting man come up to Gregory and start to like j- he jams his hi- his hand inside Gregory, and you see he's trying to pull out the organs, but there aren't any. He's just pulling out fistfuls of slime. So you you have a Gregory wall for a little bit. Oh, oh god. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you. Thank you, Gregory. I I like from behind, I just like insert like a fistful of Werther's originals to like keep him um you know, keep his strength up, keep Gregory's strength up while he fights the rotting man for us. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to pat his back. All right. You guys continue trying to find your way out? Mm-hmm. All right. So you guys continue to walk through and try to. F- you're trying so hard to figure out where the exit is. You're so lost. When uh, you come across... Well, let's see... You come across a staircase. A staircase? Yeah. Going Ascended. up or down? Yeah. Uh, going down. Should we go down it? There's no light how down. Many, how many Probably. floors are there? I don't know. I've never been off this floor. Um, Do I know how many floors there are? Uh, you walked up. You, you didn't. You didn't walk up any. Walk up or down any stairs when you got here. Oh, okay. Uh, can I pull up my dungeon map and see what floor we're currently on? <laughs> <laughs> sure. You're currently on the first floor. Where the Euclid class is is kept. I'm going to point at the stairs and shake my head. To not go down it? Yeah, to not go down. Okay. I, give it I mean, up. I... Yeah, I trust... I trust your dungeon map. Honestly. If you could, classes are stored here, and... I think we're on the top of the storage floors. That's kind of terrifying to think about. I mean, I haven't learned about Euclid classes yet, so... I think Euclid classes are the most harmless. Or I don't know. I'm not versed in SCP lore, so I can't help. Um, From what you know as a Euclid class, so you are one. You and Sybil both are Euclid class. Basically, it's oh. it's cl- it's the class for things that have that have sentience. Oh. For the most part, and are yeah. and are you know kind of not easily contained, but like not it's not hard to contain them either. As long as certain conditions are met, you can contain them. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So you guys don't go down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Well, if it's the if it's the Euclid, Euclid classes, then it should be okay, right? No, that's the floor we're on. Oh, okay. We want to <laughs> stay on this floor then. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Let's not go down the stairs. Okay, great. <laughs> Let's keep going then. All Maybe right. we should find another scientist. That is true. You could find other scientists. I feel like they're all dead. Like, maybe, maybe not. Is there like a lot of corpses around? I will say that. Is there like an intercom system? There is. 
<laughs> I just had a thought. You said there are a lot of corpses around. Are they all scientists or are some of them like prisoners or security guards? Oh, a good mixture of each. Do the security guards have guns on them? That they do. I'm gonna pick up some guns. <laughs> yes. Supply of guns. Yes. Hell yeah. Okay, I say we. Well, Sybil, did you want to use the intercom to try to um get the scientists' attention? Yeah, I mean. I would think they would know how to get out. Uh, I didn't even think of that. Yes. We should we should find a scientist so we can get out. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to the intercom. If I can find it. Uh, you do see... You, uh, roll, roll sharp. See if you can find the office where it is. Roll sharp. Yeah. Uh, that is a six. Nope, you don't find it. Ah. We're not rolling very well, are we, guys? <laughs> no, we're not. No. You're not. <laughs> Roll 20 was like, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> We've only rolled, like, <laughs> two good rolls this entire time. Mm-hmm. So. I can't find one! Okay. Um... Let's just keep going then. Let's just keep running around and hope that we find the exit. Alright. You guys keep going around. Uh, let me roll to see what you find. Uh, oh! Well, that's interesting. Okay. Um, give me two seconds. I hope it's not the dismantled corpses of the iPods. <laughs> I hope the <laughs> iPods are okay. I miss them. I think they're just having a play date with the baby. Oh, the baby. Speaking <laughs> of the baby. Um, no, no, don't say that. And, and the iPods. You actually come across them again. Oh. oh. And you see the baby still in the exact same place. This with the two iPods still staring at it. Oh, okay, cool. That means that means we we're like we made a circle of some sort. Seems like it. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's move right past that baby because we don't have time to get our necks snapped. Yeah. Let's make sure while we do it, we don't obstruct the view of the iPods. Yeah. Are we, like, behind the baby now, though? Like, if yeah. we came... So, they're they're fine. We're, like, on the other side of the baby. Yeppers. So, yeah, I say we just... We keep going. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I guess we'll take that. Yeah, we'll take the intermission now. So we will see you guys in a little bit. Hmm. See you in a bit. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right. So uh, we'll be back. And how long do y'all want to take your break for? Uh, let's go for about five, like five ten minutes. Okay, so Sounds about good. five or ten minutes, we'll be right back, uh, get back into some of this SCP, and, uh, you know, just be careful on your break, uh, don't blink. <laughs> don't blink. Right.
All right. Yeah.
Three, two, one. Okay. All right. Welcome back from the break. Hope you didn't blink. Um, and we'll just jump right back <laughs> into it. So, Aki, take it away. All right. Wonderful. So, I forgot where we were. <laughs> we, we were we running. We were going. Yeah, by the, we uh, ran. Five pods in the 173. Oh, I got nasty baby. Oh. The nasty baby. Um. So, what's, uh, so sorry, you're gonna hear yelling in my background. Um. So what you're going to um. You're gonna keep running. I'd like you all to roll sharp one more time to see if you can <laughs> get out. I mean, there might be more after this, but let's do it one more time. All of us are just. Oh, All of you. Yeah. Okay. I'm so. Oh my god. Oh, I like, rolled a nine. Wow. Like, you don't know what outside means. That, that, <laughs> what? Fair enough. <laughs> what? What's, what's that? Um, Nana Dot, you finally remember where the hell to go. Wow. I, I had a selective amnesia when it came to the. Yep. The inside of this compound. Great. Found the exit. <laughs> <laughs> Got all twisty turvy. I mean, we basically Alan. went in a circle and then came back and I was like, oh, actually it was that door over there <laughs> that we ran past <laughs> earlier. Should have went left. We oh right. well. Oh well. Okay. I run to the exit. You run you you bolt to the exit. <laughs> One problem, though. Hmm. The facility's on lockdown. Oh, we can't even get out. Great. Can I at least try the door? Maybe this door was broken and um, we can get out of it. You try... <laughs> Sorry. Um, you tr Stop flashing the camera. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> you try the door, but yeah, it's it's closed. It's locked. It, everything's on lockdown. Hmm. Should we should we try to find like another door, maybe? Or I'm not sure. The door? I know. Oh, you're probably right. There's probably only one door. And this That's is it. The violation. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they're concerned about OSHA here. <laughs> um, as you guys are talking over, you do see someone else run up behind you to try and get to the door as well, and you see it's the scientist. Oh hey, the it's one a that died. Wait, is it a different scientist or the same different one? Scientist. Okay, I was like, great, another zombie man. <laughs> no. Um, this scientist looks you all like, wait, aren't you two? Oh, am I kidding? Everyone's out. Oh, God. Okay, so, <laughs> tries the door. Oh, fuck, we're on lockdown. Okay, so, I'm guessing you're not an SCP, right? Points at Nanadot. No. Okay, cool. You and I need, really need to get out of here. I'd like I mean, to get out, too. I think they deserve to get out, too. Uh, I like to breathe air. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm gonna give them a what the fuck air. look. I could yeah. really go for some Panera. No, no, you're right. You're right. How do you know right? what Panera so, is? Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm human. I can guess. Right. Okay. You're right. You're right. Um, yeah, you guys. So he's like, okay, uh, uh, we need to find the warden. Not warden. What the fuck is that guy's name? The, the, the boss's office to, to uh, under the lockdown. Don't you know where that is? Are I you supposed have a to know? Idea. But you. Don't, but you work here and you don't know where the boss's office is? I don't go there very often. I'm. I, see, they give a lot of codes to everybody. I'm more of a janitor. 
Oh, I see. So you should know this place better than anybody. Yeah! Yeah! I'm the janitor for this floor. He's on a different floor. Uh, okay, which... But which floor is he on? I'm pretty sure it's second floor. So we need to go up. Yeah. What's up there? I don't know. <sighs> More shit. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Say well, that again. Do you at least know where the stairs up are? Oh, yeah. Follow me. And he leads you a completely different way than the way you saw before. Well, yeah, that's okay. the way to go to the I downstairs. Mean, we know that. <laughs> Wait, is he leading us down to the downstairs that we no, passed? No, somewhere completely okay. else opposite direction got it got it i see i see okay i mean let's follow him all right I guess following follow him. him when uh uh let's see link ah. i would like you to roll wait you see what the rolls are again i am so tired um, both sharp. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Um, you got you as you're walking, you don't notice, but someone's behind you. I'm gonna look behind, I'm gonna look at them. Before you can, you feel something grip your shoulder. Nice. Do I feel myself start to decay? Yes. No! Does my one armor help with anything? It does slow it down a bit. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna... You are now on a timer. I am going to try to wrestle free from this grip. All right, roll it off. Throw it off. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, you, you, you jerk your shoulder out of this guy's grip, and you just start booking it. Uh, did I take any harm from that? You, 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 right now you've taken one harm. Okay. So, do you guys start picking up the pace? Yeah, I'm. Because you did do we see look. This. Yeah, you saw this. Um, actually, before I start running, I'm gonna swing at it with my sword real quickly. All right, go ahead and roll. Hang on okay. one second. Sorry. Okay. You said roll a uh, tough. Yeah. All right. It's not bad. You managed to hack away at him a little bit. You don't right. do much damage, but you do some. All right. Um, for reference, my sword does two harm. All right. Yeah, you do two harm. Shit. All right, and then I'll start running. All right. All right. Do you guys follow? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're absolutely no. I don't want him to touch me. <laughs> I'm so worried. Uh, the about scientist him. starts running too confused. Where he looks back, is like, oh shit. Uh, yeah, he's like, don't touch him. Yeah, don't worry. I know. Uh, question: How many guns did I have? I picked up. You grabbed two. Okay, I'm gonna hand one to the scientist. Like, oh shit! Thanks. Yeah, he definitely needs one. Okay. But yeah, I think we just keep running and make sure that I guess like protect the scientists so that they can get us to the warden's office. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, you guys. You guys keep running towards the warden. So obviously run upstairs. Um Well 
when you start to hear some like I don't know how to describe it like, like something hard hitting the floor. Not, not like not like a boot, like a stomp, but like something like hard, just something hard like hitting the floor. Like something fell onto the floor, maybe. More like footsteps, I guess. Hmm. But it doesn't sound like feet. That's not ideal. This is worrying. Mm -hmm. Is this coming from like behind us or in front of us? Behind you. Okay. I'm, gonna look, I'm gonna look back. Yeah, let's all look. You see, I see. P one seven three. No, that's the baby, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the baby. Freaking baby. No, what happened to the iPods? Um, is the don't blink, don't blink. Is the scientist what? Still alive? Yes, he is currently staring bug eyed at this thing. Like, no, God, no, not him. What about the zombie? The zombie guy? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. Oh my god, now I'm wondering what the zombie guy would do to the 173. You see, he... He walks right through 173. Almost as if he's, almost as if he's like, not there. Of course. Um. Oh no! Did did the zombie guy destroy the iPod? I'm really. Oh no! And that's why one seven three can walk around. Cool. Um. Hey, scientist guy, are there any windows <laughs> on the second floor? Uh, no. Uh, why not? <laughs> because this is there's only one door and anything else doesn't exist. We can't have something as easy as windows. So Maybe you should invest in some in case stuff like this happens again. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Crunch? Oh, just the horrible idea of. If the zombie phases through 173, then unless we're all looking at 173 from different angles, there's going to be at least a split second where we do not have eye contact with 173. That is why would you, true. Why, why would you say that, though? <laughs> why? <laughs> okay. Um... Um, I'd like you all to roll cool. Is, is something bad about to happen? Because cool. I feel like something bad is about to happen. Cool is what I aim for. Awesome. Oh, shit. My cool I, is minus one, so that's really good. Because I have this ability called hunches. Ooh. Um, uh... Where I can roll sharp. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where you can what? I can roll sharp uh, to see if I can uh, know where I need to go just in time, depending on how well I roll. Okay, go ahead. Awesome. Nice. So yeah. yeah. So on on a ten plus, I know where we need to go just in time to get there. All does that right. help me? Does that help me? Even though I rolled a three. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about right now. Also, make sure <laughs> oh, roll cool. Oh, okay. Also, roll cool. 
Uh, oh, I don't. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, no, that's you're not fine. You're it fine. Could worse. It could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been a three. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, Nanot's about to die, y'all. <laughs> By this concrete baby. No, we were supposed to get bread so- out. <laughs> Sybil, you grab Nanda and Link by the hands and start running in a direction where you think the, the the boss's office might be. But as you do, you hear a body hit the floor. The scientist is dead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which means no one's looking at set 173. Oh my god. Uh... The hand with Nana Dot starts to go. The, the 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 hand with Nana Dot goes limp. Oh no! No 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 no! Nana Dot is dead. <laughs> Her neck snapped completely. Cool. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> we were supposed to get bread balls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you can have my Panera card, though. It's in my. Put in a corpse with us. We can loot it later. Yeah, loot my corpse, please. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Well, I guess I don't have. I'm. I shouldn't say anything. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we we gotta we gotta look at we gotta look the baby. So I'm we looking at the baby. We gotta look at the baby. Mm, I don't like being on the stairs anymore. Alright. Uh, uh. Shit, I can't actually communicate with you. <laughs> when Nana Dot was reading the baby's thing, uh, the clipboard, uh, mm-hmm. she mentioned it was concrete, right? Yes. Okay. And we're on the stairs right now. Hmm? Are we on the stairs right now? Oh no, you're 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 on the second floor already. We're on the oh. second. Are we still in the staircase? Uh, yeah. Okay. Can I push 173 down the stairs? I'll keep staring at it. I, yeah, you can do that. Would that be a tough? Yeah, because it's a big concrete thing. You just barely managed to push it over and it kind of just lands on its back and skates down the stairs and lands at the bottom with its arms still out and still immobile because someone's looking at it you might have bought yourself some time all right let's book it well i'm i'm curious it's like I would assume there's a door to the staircase? Or is it just like a staircase? It's a staircase. Okay. So we'll definitely have bought ourselves some time. Uh... And we don't know what's up here. Uh... I'd, I'd say you have, you have the direction we're going. Let's just book it. Okay. We'll just have to... Uh, yeah, we'll just have to make sure we... Because, <sighs> like... Once we go through the doorway, we'll no longer have eyes on the SCP. But I don't know what's going to happen when we do so. <laughs> we'll have to pray. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to go with our gut and just hope for the best. 
and run. <laughs> We're pretty good at that. <laughs> oh, I wasn't, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Sorry, give me two seconds. Okay. Um. You guys book it away from one seven three and through and and you start look you try and look for the office and on your and because of how high you rolled on your first try you find it. Oh. Nice. It's open, right? Yes. Oh, I rush in. All right. I will follow. Or no, I won't follow. I will look in the direction of the staircase where one seven three was last spotted. All right. After like a second, you see one seven three suddenly standing there. And I shall just stare at him. All right. So, Sybil, you are able to find the the it's a it's a big red obvious button. This is locked down. That you you just you just slam it and the red lights turn off. The blaring stops. The alarm blaring stops. <sighs> nice. And it is terrifyingly quiet now. Did we just make a mistake? <laughs> no, it's fine. Is there I mean, an intercom in this room? There is. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna press it and be like, Hey! Um, <laughs> is there anybody alive? <laughs> Not noon to that. Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> you don't exactly get a response? Because... Is there is no way for them to respond? Hello? <laughs> when suddenly you do hear coming through the speaker, no, yes, I'm alive. Barely. Okay, great. Who are you? Where are you? Um, sorry. My, my name's Jeremy. I'm I'm on the first floor. Okay, Jeremy. Um, I know there's you. You're gonna want to be careful. Uh, the door should be open. Um, what what do you do here? I'm a scientist. Okay. Well, um, let's see. Uh, we got baby man, uh, at the staircase. We can't get down the stairs. Baby man. Oh, you, you mean you mean one seven three? Um, have, have you have? Oh, oh gosh, have you seen the uh? What 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 was there? Have you seen SP-131? That's the AirPods, right? The iPods, yes. iPods. Uh, it worked for a minute, but we don't know what happened. We think whose man destroyed them? I'll go look for them. Okay, thanks. No, no problem. And uh, who are you? Uh, my name's Sybil. Sybil, Sybil. Oh, you're... Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm here with... What? <laughs> <laughs> He's currently keeping eyes on the baby. You have weird names for things, and he hangs up. <laughs> he hangs up. I guess. I don't know how else to describe yeah. it. So we walked with Nier Yeah, yeah it's, 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 this is broadcast throughout like the whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there anybody else here as well? Like every who who is safe? Is there any other 
Hello? Uh, hi, I'm alive. Hi. What you doing? How you doing? Where are you? Who are you? Uh, I'm Janice. I'm on the third floor, and I don't know. I'm, I'm stuck in a room. Uh, okay. Um... In in this room, this this man managerial room, are there like cameras? Uh yeah. Uh is there a a way I can find Janice? Oh, real sharp. Yes. Which by the way, still got twelve. Um, yes, you are able to see the, um, hi, kitty. Uh, you are able to see Janice, who you, well, who you assume is Janice. You see a female figure in a, stuck in a room. It seems to be one of, one of the containment cells. You can't tell who's. There's just some random liquids on the floor. It's gross. Yucky. But she seems to be on the other, on the opposite corner of that, and just kind of huddling in a corner. Um. Let's see. Is there a way I can open just that door? Oh, I'll ask her. Hey, can is there a way from where I'm at if I'm. If I can open that door for you, should I open that door? Like I don't, I don't know what's what what you're dealing with. Uh, I see you. Hi. Uh, Hi and I sorry. wave, even though I know. <laughs> the problem. <laughs> uh, no, I, the door is the door is unlocked. I just there's something outside, and I don't want to leave. Is there a way I can see what's on the other side of the door? Uh. Uh, no, there isn't an exa- you do see a hallway close to it, well, close to that door, so, like, not the exact hallway, but so something close, and you see the rotting man walking. Oh, yeah, oh. you should probably stay in there, um, yeah, rot rotting man's on his way, um, rotting man, what? Yeah, and, and I describe rotting man. Uh, you notice she's in a prisoner outfit? She's like, I don't, I don't know who that is. Oh, okay, so she's like, me. No, she's yeah. like, she's from like a state prison that was brought Oh, here. okay, gotcha. D-class personnel. Yeah. Hmm, okay, um... Long story short, don't touch him. Okay. Um, and he's you... pretty slow. Uh, if you start now, uh, you you should be fine. <laughs> Are you running? You should be running. Uh no no it's okay. Uh she opens the she she like like she, well she she stands up but she's like but. But you said I should stay here. You're you're giving me conflicting orders. <laughs> that was before I knew what was on the other side of the door. But I know now, and you have a good chance to run to the stairs before he gets you. Uh, gets oh, you. okay, okay. I believe in you. You got this. She runs towards the door. Bash she does. A hand reaches through the door and touches her. Oh. And it and it and it it, it goes through her and he and you can and like it stabs through her. And all you hear is Before you see her fall to the ground. Oh no. Welp. I think you guys should just leave. <laughs> like. Uh, I'm 
I'm so get my house keys. Get my house keys from my body, and you can live in my <laughs> house. Oh, bless. Which, by the way, Link, you're What's not up? feeling too hot. Oh, no. Yeah. You're really not feeling too hot. Your skin is gray now. It's starting to, it's starting to fall off a bit. Oh. You have to lean against the wall to stay up. Okay. Your skin is like sagging. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh. I'm here for a reason is one of my moves. Mm -hmm. There's something you are destined to do. Work out the details with the Keeper based on your fate. You cannot die until it comes to pass. <laughs> if I die in play, I must spend a luck point and then I'll recover. But Wow. So can I spend that luck point to recover? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, also, now my uh, fate is brought into play. <laughs> so the, the, the decomposing stops, but you kind of look like Dark Link now. <laughs> Your skin is gray. I'll take it. <laughs> um... Now I'm curious what you're going to choose. <laughs> um. Anyway, what are you guys gonna do now? Keep looking at the baby. All right, Sybil, what are you gonna do? Um. I mean, I think it's time we go. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> I sure hope you do. I'm gonna like step out of the the office. Um, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, who? Are, uh, oh, oh, you look different." Uh, oh. <laughs> we we can go now. Um, you think you could kick the baby down the stairs again? <laughs> I not. I, I give four thumbs up. And I go and I push the baby back down the stairs. Wait. All right, roll up again. Is that a good idea if we're going down the stairs? Wouldn't we want to push him over at the top of the stairs? Either way. There you go. All right. Again, barely managed to push him over. It takes it takes you a good minute because this guy is heavy, and also because you're you're a lot more brittle now. Mm. You're, you, it's like you've aged considerably. Okay. So you guys gonna run down the stairs now? Yeah, we'll we'll keep yeah. our focus on uh, the baby. But like as as we pass uh, Nana Dot's body, I'll be like, oh, hold, hold, hold on, <laughs> keep, uh, keep 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 an eye on the baby, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sit Nana up, oh. uh, and um, put, put my head back on my neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and uh, um, you are decapitated. It's just your your neck is very much broken. Yeah. Well, you know, like put. I'm, know, I'm gonna like the up again, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna be like, uh, pardon me, and I'm gonna get into her bag, grab her eye drops, <laughs> uh, and then like <laughs> maybe some hard candies, and then like, oh, keys. <gasps> maybe she has a car. <gasps> I thought we have a car. There's no reason for me not to have a car. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's definitely outside of this compound. Yeah. Um. So I'll probably, yeah. Um. Don't think there's anything else I would. Take my wallet, so you know where I live. Oh. You can take my whole purse. I don't care. Okay. I don't mind. <laughs> oh I don't care. I'm, dead. <laughs> I'm like taking stuff out. Like, oh, we'll need this. We'll need this. We'll need I'm, this. Like, I'm like, just take the bag. Just take it off my bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just, I, I like take everything out, and then I'm like, huh? If I'm gonna be carrying all this, I probably need a bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it all back in the bag. <laughs> I'll be like, Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna take the bag. Oh. <laughs> and then I'll. I'll join at the bottom of the stairs. All right. I'm gonna borrow those so you guys drops. start. Yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone, take a eye drop break really quick. Make sure <laughs> yeah. you've got moisture. Yeah, I'll keep focus on the baby while you rehydrate your eyes. All right, guys. You guys, you guys moisturize your eyes. You keep running. You run past a few random SCPs. You see Gregory. He's okay. Oh, Greg I love Gregory. Oh my yes. Does Gregory he have eyes? Bound he does. He has black. He has black compound eyes. <gasps> Gregory. I give Gregory a hug. <laughs> he hugs Gregory, you we need back. your. We need your help again. Hmm? There's a baby man. Uh, there's a baby. <laughs> there's a baby chasing us. <laughs> we gotta keep our eyes on him. He turns around while still hugging you and sees the baby man. He's like, oh. <laughs> and, can't uh, blink. You can't blink. Don't blink. He 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 pushes you back toward more towards the exit, and he just stands in front of you with his again with his arms out like no. Oh. Oh, thank you, Gregory. I'm, I'm gonna dig some of the candies out from Nana's bag and give them to Gregory. <laughs> He's very pleased. He's very, very happy. Your MVP, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys run, run towards the exit. The exit is open now. You guys made it out. <gasps> yes. <gasps> we did it! You survived. Okay. I am going to look. I, is there grass? Yes, there's grass. I'm going to go run and chop at it. <laughs> just try to get some money. <laughs> you don't get any money. Um. <laughs> you do. I mean, okay. You do find a dollar bill. Ah, oh, okay, cool. But it's unrelated. <laughs> yeah, it's unrelated. <laughs> Yeah, you guys survived. Two of you at least survived the SCP Foundation. <sighs> yeah, fine. everything's fine. And we we mourn the deceased. Thank you. At least I'm mourned. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you, Nana. Oh gosh. We'll say there's an after credit scene. As as you, like as you guys walk away, the credits roll. He has the after credit scene where it's Gregory, just slumping towards Nana's body and hugging it. Oh, Gregory! And and yeah, that's wow. the end. Well, sad I died, but <laughs> otherwise I'm very pleased with how it <laughs> went. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. It was a fun game. I'm glad. Uh, let me let Chris know we're done. Ooh. Oh. Hey. Okay, you're here. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I was listening. Oh, rip. Rip <laughs> Nana Dot. Oh. Rip Nana Dot. People will I'm look so back sorry. on this day. I had one of your no, that's 
absolutely understandable. She had a she had a really good long life, you know. She was eighty two. <laughs> she still had some years in her though, but what can you do? <laughs> but now your book club's not gonna know what happened. Oh, that's true. <laughs> That's so true. Oh, well, they'll figure it out. <laughs> like, they know I went to the SPC, and then I'm sure they'll figure out that there was some kind of breach. So I'm going to I'm gonna assume that they think I died in there. Or did I die? Well, dun, dun, dun. I, I would like to point out that we kind of took it off lockdown and left the door open. <laughs> That you did. Oh. So who knows what now roams in the yeah. world? You guys. I mean, we know oh two of them. God. No, we know three of them. Fuck. <laughs> but we have a lot of the house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Hopefully, 682 didn't get out. <laughs> What's Our... the thing? I mean, <laughs> any of the doors <laughs> should be relocked. <laughs> Um, yeah, so my... but, it doesn't, but it doesn't mean that they're, the things are inside when they're relocked. That's true. That's definitely true. I would say they're definitely not inside. <laughs> I figure nothing. Oh, God, yeah. 682 gets out. We fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got Jeremy. Jeremy was still kicking. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah. I don't think I don't trust Jeremy. I don't think he was a scientist. <laughs> I, think <he> was <laughs> I, was <laughs> I think he's someone pretending to be a scientist. So he's just those are my thoughts. Boy. Yeah, those are my thoughts. <laughs> are they right? I don't know. <laughs> you will never know. You never found exactly. him. Exactly. But yeah, that's 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 all I have. So if if you want to send us off, Chris, I'd appreciate it. All right, yeah. Um, so thank you, Aki. That was awesome. SCP horror, love it. Um, <laughs> and big thank you to the players. You all were great. Had some awesome RP and some <laughs> unfortunate death. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Um also uh we want to thank everybody for joining us for our charity stream weekend uh for Color of Change and the Bail Project. Um at the top we have the ticker still going for both fundraising campaigns and remember you can still donate. I I believe the donation will still remain open for a while. Oh, I'm not sure how far we'll 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 keep it going. Um I don't know when the expiration for it goes or anything as far as the uh, whole Tiltify uh, application goes. Uh, but we do have a $1,000 combined goal for both campaigns, and uh, we are really close to reaching them. Um, I also, we want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who is watching, playing in the games, who ran games for us this weekend. Uh, these games would not be possible without... Uh, uh, people from our amazing community that we have started to grow uh, this this terrible party that we're starting to knit together which is just amazing some of the amazing uh, creative minds that I've been able to be introduced with and just some of the amazing artwork and just fantastic work that these people are doing uh, in the background uh, so feel free to check them out um, Follow us on Twitter at terrible party, terrible underscore party. Uh, we are also following a lot of the people that you saw streaming this weekend. So if you found somebody interesting or you saw some dope artwork and you're like, oh man, that's so cool, uh, you know, check check us out on Twitter. Um, we have a Discord community that's kind of growing. Um, we'll we'll soon start a, start to get more invitations out for that. Um, also, we have a giveaway going on right now. Um, and we'd like to thank uh, uh, the amazing donors uh, for their generosity. All you have to do is uh, uh, check out our pinned tweet on our Twitter and fill out the quick Google form. And however, some of the giveaways are territory or country locked. So we have that form just to let you, you know, to make sure that you are capable of getting it once you fill it out. 
Um, we have ebooks. We have dice bags that are made by um, Nana Dot. <laughs> yeah. Rip. <laughs> Uh, the late wow. and great Nana Dot dice bag. Thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Nana Dot dice bag, Peter. Uh, copies of we have copies of Sandy Pug Games Justice Sworn TTRPG in the giveaway. A gift certificate to Cantrip Candles. Uh, two gift certificates to Heartbeat Dice, which they do dice that are um, LGBTQ plus friendly, so you can get any of the LGBTQ plus color scheme of for your dice which is really amazing and a lot of their proceeds go to the trevor project which is another charity that we'd like to support uh with our group and they're also doing a uh part of all of their proceeds right now i believe are going to bail project and color change as well so that's kind of a cool double dip uh, donation that we got um there's an art commission giveaway there's a 25 dollar gift certificate to swordsfall.com and there's a copy of ali bustion's heist ttrpg uh so yeah just shout out to the, some of the donors we got james r wilson uh natalie stokes aka critical nat Nana, Nana Dot, right there. Yeah, uh, that's me. <laughs> uh, Sandy Pug Games, War of the Fallen, which is me, aka Ulrin, aka Dwarf Jesus. Uh, we got uh, Noir underscore Labyrinth. We got Joe Timmis and the wonderful Hallie, who are the donors for this charity stream uh, that are doing the giveaway prizes. Uh, finally, just a big thank you to everyone who has helped us get the word out about this charity stream and who will continue to help us get the word out for future charity streams, uh, GMs and players. You know, we're always looking for people to want to do creative content to help better the world. So that's really what our community has kind of been built on is we just want to help the world as much as we can by playing these TTRPGs and having fun and going into different worlds that are somehow less dark than our world right now. It's, it seems like an SCP containment breach is more fun than what's going on <laughs> right now in the world. <laughs> Not wrong. Um, but um, with all that said, once again, thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful week. And love you all. Stay safe. Bye. 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 Bye.